is Michael Bagley, and I'm excited to be bringing you some math and manufacturing today. Um, the funding that brought this video series on is from Doing What Matters for Advanced Manufacturing in the California Community Colleges. My background is I'm an engineering and mathematics professor, and um, just to give you a heads up on these videos, the goal is really to kind of show the math that goes behind the scenes in manufacturing. So, humble me if I make some mistakes with the actual manufacturing and the technical side, um, but my math should be pretty spot on. So let's have some fun here. We have a question where we have two gears, um, a driver gear that's 17 teeth and a driven gear that's 9 teeth. And the goal, our question is determine the revolutions per minute of the driven gear, or get an idea of the relationship or proportions of speeds when you have gears of different sizes. So the, the driver gear is 360 revolutions per minute, and we are again trying to figure out how fast the driven gear is going to be rotating. In math, and I think in the science and technical fields, it's always good to have a reference point. So here I wanted to say, let's try the reference point where the gear is meshed, called point A. If you think about it, as this larger driver gear goes one revolution, one full revolution around point A, 17 teeth will pass point A. The question is, how many teeth will pass point A in that same revolution over here? Well, as you can tell, this is going to re revolve more than one time as this completes one full revolution. One way of looking at this is how many teeth will pass this point A in one minute? And it's a pretty simple equation. You have 17 teeth per one revolution, 360 revolutions per one minute. That'll tell you the number of teeth that pass point A in one minute. Doing the math, you find out 6,120 teeth pass that point. Well, if these gears are meshed and everything's working right, the same number of teeth will pass for the smaller gear, the driven gear. And so that has nine teeth per one revolution. Given that it's got less teeth, it's going to have to have more revolutions to hit that same number and keep lined up. Now, two ways of looking at it. You have 17 times 360, is equal to 90 times this unknown number of revolutions. So I have an equation written up here, and we can do some quick calculations, find out 6,120 has to equal 9 times this unknown x, and you can find out x has to be 680 revolutions per minute. Now this is pretty straightforward, but a lot of times, and I want you to realize this, fractions show up, and we need to be good with fractions when we're working with math, in any type of industry. You can look at the fraction here as 17 teeth per compared to the 9 teeth is equal to the number of revolutions of the smaller, the 9 teeth one, versus the 360 revolutions. So this is another way of looking at it. And you can see the proportionality, the driven gear has to be 1.89 times faster than the driver gear. So I want to come back up here, hit a couple more points before we leave this cool question. We have some learning outcomes. We just talked about ratios. You saw the dreaded fraction word, the F word in math, and proportions. But I want to talk about this concept of variation and dimensions. For variation, they consider direct variation when one variable goes up and the other variable goes up. So in this question, if we increase the number of teeth in the driver gear, if that went up to 18 teeth, all things being equal, so you know what I'm talking about, so all things being equal, then the speed of the driven gear would have to go up. So those go up together, that's a direct relationship. An inverse relationship is when one variable goes up and another variable goes down, or vice versa, they, they go against each other. So if we looked at this, if the number of teeth in the driven gear went down, the speed of the same driven gear would have to go up to compensate. So that's an inverse relationship. So don't be nervous when you see those types of things in fractions and proportions. It's very important to understand them when you're working on things. The other thing I wanted to talk about is dimensions. And dimensional analysis is a very useful skill. And a lot of times people don't see it in these practical problems. 
So dimensions, look over here, I put 17 teeth per, that underlying division is per, like miles per hour, 17 teeth per one revolution, and you have 360 revolutions per minute. And if you look at this, you can actually cancel out these units or dimensions, and you end up with teeth per minute left, teeth per minute. So I just want you to be aware of how you can use units and dimensions to help you, how to solve for an unknown variable x in an equation, and how math and manufacturing are completely related. I hope you enjoy this video, and we're going to have a lot more for you. Thank you very much.